40 Violin Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everyone! In today's video, I'm going to be showing you this really, really cool 40 Violin. This is one of my new favorite nails that I've ever done before because, I don't know, I just really love the way that it turned out, and it's got the perfect gold background that I'm just so in love with. It's just a clear nail with some gold pigment that's on top of it. I don't know, I just, I've never used that particular combination of just clear with that gold, and I really love it. So I was pretty excited just from the get-go doing that because I did the back, I'm like, ooh, I don't even want to do anything to this but it looks really good with the violin on top and the violin I I wasn't gonna I won't say I was hesitant to make it because I wouldn't say that it was like a excited nervousness not really nervous either but I, it was I don't know I was a little on edge when I was making it because I knew that it was gonna be fairly detailed and there's gonna be a lot to it and I just wasn't sure how everything was gonna work out but I'm really happy with the way it worked out I think it looks pretty great I hope you guys like it too and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well so I'm going to begin with, like I said, just that clear background. So I'm just going to start out by sculpting a clear overlay on top of this nail just for strength. And as I'm doing this, I'm using, you usually see me using a number eight brush. I usually like using a relatively small brush, but this one is actually a 12 just because I knew that this was, it's a thumbnail, so it's pretty big and it's super long and it's just clear. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to break out the big guns for this one. So that's, that's that. Just making a nice, just clear overlay on top of this, making sure that it's going to be nice and strong once the end result is on there. And it's good just to have that clear is really nice and strong anyways so then I'm just gonna be filing it and I'm going to start with a 180 grit file just to go over the top of it the surface of it make sure it's nice and got a good shape to it and then I'm gonna take a 240 grit buffer and just remove all the scratches and then apply a layer of no wipe gel top coat and cure it after that top coat has cured I'm going to be burnishing in that pigment like I mentioned so I'm gonna start with just the little applicator sponge that always comes in the sets with these duochrome pigments and this one's actually like a gold green I didn't want it to be gold chrome because that's a little bit um, more intense of a color. I want it to be almost clear, just have this gold hue to it. So I decided to use this one instead and it turned out fantastic. And then I'm just going to use a silicone tool and really burn, or really burn it, really rub in the pigment and really smooth it out. And then apply a layer of gel sealer over the top of this. I don't know why I missed this step when I was doing this, but you should probably just wipe over that pigment before you apply the gel sealer just to make sure that there's no little residue bits on it it'll just smooth it out some more but I I don't know I didn't for whatever reason so yeah who knows what that was but then I'm going to be taking and then with brown acrylic I'm going to start sculpting out the violin so I'm going to start out and I'm going to start sculpting the top portion of it on the nail directly now the reason I started with part of it on it and part of it off of it is because then when I'm doing the lower part um it was going to go off the nail so much that it really wouldn't work to sculpt that directly on the nail very well. So for that, I'm going to be sculpting that on a nail form backing, and I'm just going to let that set most of the way. So I've got it all sculpted out, and I have the nail sitting next to it so that I do know about the right size. And then I'm going to be also sculpting the scroll on that nail form backing at the same time. So while that bottom bit of the violin is setting, then I'm going to be making the scroll, and then by the time I'm done with that, then I can go back and pick up that other section. So I'm just going to kind of you're just doing the when you're looking at it from the side just that this is basically a support it's like the center little structure of it so then I'm going to take and I'm just going to look at it and it's pretty matte right now so it's a good good um setness is that a word it's going to be a word now pick that up set that on the nail and as you can see because it was still a little bit wet it did kind of conform to the curvature of the nail and set on there really really well but it also kept its shape enough that it's not just going to be a mess so I'm just going to take and I'm going to be smoothing out the two sections and the areas between them just with some more of that brown acrylic just to make sure that it doesn't look like they were made on two separate things and then stuck together you want them to look like they're one piece and then take some gold acrylic and just kind of brush that over it to make it really nice and kind of highlighted and a little bit shiny like it's been a really nicely um stained like the wood is a really nice really nice but then I'm gonna take clear acrylic and build out underneath that bottom bit just so that it's nice and strong because that was really thin while I'm building that out with clear acrylic I'm going to be adding a magnet to one side it does not matter which side you want to add it to just add it in there and then go back to the nail and I'm going to be attaching the scroll to the nail now at this point so I'm gonna take some brown acrylic and put that up about where you're going to be attaching your scroll so just sculpt that out then grab the scroll press that into that brown acrylic and then press the brown acrylic from side to side to make sure that it's not kind of fanning out too thin so just keep working that from side to side and kind of tucking it in some around the scroll so this is how you're attaching the scroll and it actually works really well I you could use nail glue and then just glue it into place and work it out that way I prefer to attach things with acrylic because nail glue is I'm pretty sure nail glue is evil and then I'm going to be adding some more brown acrylic over to each side so I'm going to start on one side doesn't matter which and just set that on there and then let that set a moment so just 
place the brown acrylic down so it's all nice and even and smoothed out and there's no weird lumps or bumps on there and then right about the time it's going to start to turn matte take a little pointy silicone tool cone shaped one and carve out the actual scroll in there so just take and just draw it basically is all you have to do it's very very easy with those silicone tools and it all works out really nicely so then you're going to want to take and just repeat all of those steps but this time doing it on the other side apply the acrylic so it's nice and smooth sculpt out the little scroll or carve out the little scroll and then i'm just going to take and i have a little bit too thick on the one part of that so i'm just going to take and file off the extra acrylic so that it wasn't so thick because that's going to be the same thickness that you're going to have to make um the neck of the violin with the black in just a second so you have to make sure that that's not too thick and it's not going to get like a weird lump there so just file that to make it a little smoother and a little bit less obvious I suppose you could say and then with some black acrylic I'm going to be adding the neck like I just mentioned so I'm just gonna set a bead down and then work it from side to side the first bead of black that I'm going to use I'm just gonna take and make that the part of the neck that is on the gold background of the nail not the part of it that goes over the top of the main part of the violin so I'm just gonna take and make that and just kind of bring that down the reason I'm not going over the top of it is because acrylic acts differently when it's being sculpted on top of that gel sealer versus being sculpted on top of the other acrylic that's got a matte surface on it so you want to it's easier to kind of do it in two separate parts and stick them together and blend them instead of trying to do it in one bead that goes up and over and down because you're probably going to end up with some issues of sorts. So that's what I did and as you can see I'm now working on putting that on top of the violin. When I'm putting it on top of the violin it is a much thinner acrylic and I'm being a lot more cautious with it because it's a lot harder to clean up any incidents. So you want to make sure that you only have the acrylic, especially since it's black, touching the areas where you actually do want black acrylic. So I'm just going to make sure that the whole thing, the whole neck looks nice and smooth and that there isn't any weirdness going on over that little overlap area so then also with black acrylic i'm going to be adding the chin rest so i'm going to set a bead down and then press it out to give it that little indent for where your chin actually would go so just kind of press that down in just like that and then finish it off with that little bit there that goes along the bottom just a little bit more of that black acrylic and as that black is setting on the chin rest you can continue to kind of press it in and mold it so that it has that nice little curved shape and then you're going to take some more black acrylic and you're going to be adding the tailpiece. So just set that down. Same thing though, because this is all black acrylic on top of a lighter color. You're going to want to make sure that you're very careful with where it goes. And if you do have any place where it gets to be, there's a little bit of a black smudge on top of your brown acrylic. If you take a very monomery brush and you can kind of erase it, but you have to try to do it quickly. You do have some time to play around with it, but you don't want to, you don't want to save it for later and then go back. Cause once it sets, it's pretty much on there. You can file it off, but that's a bit of a pain in the pain in the butt so just try to get it done as you can so then I'm going to be adding the tuning pegs and as you're doing this once again you are going to want to use very very small beads of black acrylic because you don't want these humongous you want them to be proportional and they're very small comparatively and this whole violin is tiny so you got to make sure that they're very small so really monitor how much monomer monitor your monomer that's in your brush so that as you're grabbing these beads you can grab four that are very close to the same size as you can see i had that one that was a little bit too big so i just took off some of the acrylic since i had the opportunity before it was set but it's easier if you can just get them right the first go around so try to really make sure that you look at how much monomer you're getting in your brush and how long you're dipping your powder and just really try to get it the same each time which is a good practice to get in just in general to really be cautious of how much acrylic you're getting and how many seconds you're grabbing your powder maybe it's not seconds maybe it's like you just think to yourself one mississippi as you're grabbing your powder and if you do it something like that especially when you're practicing eventually it'll get to be where it's just kind of like instinct you just always do the same thing but it's good to have a a um what's the word that i'm trying to go for here it's good to just have a routine there you go a routine for grabbing your acrylic that's going to give you a really nice good consistency so then i'm talking over this part but you're going to want to take and stack up three studs these are bar studs that are they're rectangular so they've got flat edges which worked out really well and they're the right height so if i took four of them or three of them and i stacked them up they were nice and smooth and they're gold so they work really really well for for doing that right there so now i'm going to be um, painting in the f holes and with this i'm just using acrylic paint so this is just regular old craft paint and i'm just gonna be adding them in and as you could see i did two little dots on each side so that i could have a baseline for where they're going to be and that's just going to make them a little bit easier to make and more symmetrical from side to side and then with slightly diluted black paint i'm going to go through and just do very subtle outlines around everything just to make sure that it's 
you know, a little bit more defined and that you can easily see, especially that brown against that gold background. And then also I'm just going to take and add a little shadow inside the scroll just to really intensify that little scroll because that's a pretty nice little detail that's, I think, really cool. So now to glue on the string. So I have four pieces of thread. These are just cream little thin pieces of thread. And I'm going to glue them up right underneath where the, the base of the scroll is. So I'm just going to glue them right out there. Right at the top there let that glue dry completely set this aside leave it for a few minutes because if you try to do this next step before that first set of that first bit of glue is dry you are going to be have you're going to be having problems so then put some more nail glue on top of your gold stud stack Ooh, a gold stud stack and then place the strings in there and then stretch them and hold them in place until that glue is dry cut off the excess amount of the string and then at the right length place some glue down on the tail piece and then glue your strings down to the tail piece. At this point, after that part is all glued and dried, then you are, you're good. This part, all the glue is done on here. Yay, done with glue. And then apply a layer of matte top coat over the top of the violin, and that is done for now, or for done, it's done. And you can make your bow. So I'm just gonna take a piece of wire and I'm going to be bending the ends of it up at a 90 degree angle, just to create just the little ends of it. And then you're gonna to wanna to take some more of that wonderful glue and you're going to be gluing on a magnet to the side of it. So you wanna make sure that you're gluing the magnet on to where it's going to be the right direction on your violin because you want the poles to be the correct direction. So set the magnet on top of the nail and then glue it on so that you just don't, so that way you just know that it's right. And then after that glue is dried, go ahead and paint over the entire bow with sort of a bronze color or a brown color or um, gel polish. Use a one-step gel polish if you have it available because then you don't have to worry about top coat or anything. So after that has cured and you've got the whole thing painted brown, then go ahead and take some gel, builder gel. You're gonna take builder gel and place the end, a whole bunch of that gel on the ends of the bow on either side and then lay your string over the top of it. You're gonna have another piece of that creamy, creamy thread. So lay that on, try to stretch it as tight as you can, and then go ahead and cure this. Once that is cured, you are all set. Uh, cleanse your builder gel if you need to, but you should be good to go. That builder gel is really going to hold that string in place way better than nail glue is going to, and it's just easier for this. It won't work as well for doing the strings otherwise, but on the bow, I definitely recommend using builder gel instead of something else. So I hope you guys like this violin. Like I said, it was a little bit concerning. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what to call it because it wasn't I had faith that it was going to work out. I just wasn't sure how. So I hope you guys like this and please share recreations with me on Facebook or Instagram because I would love to see them and I will see you in my next video. Bye.